Hi beauties, Lip here. Um, I've just popped into the filming room for a second uh, just to share with you a look I actually found last week um, at Rosemount Sydney Fashion Festival. Now, Ella Bache invited um, a few of the beauty media to come along and see the Splash swimwear show, which was sort of showcasing a lot of Australian swimwear designers, and it was really, really fun to sort of see what was going to come out uh, for the upcoming summer. Now, besides the high-waisted bikinis and very, very cool-looking hats, I was taken by um, the ruby red lips that every model was sporting as you shimmy down the runway. I had to know how it was done. So I got in touch with the, um, the makeup director, who was actually from Napoleon, and she informed me um, that the Napoleon Pettis Divine Goddess uh, lipstick in Eros was used over all the model's lips, and also a, a Napoleon Pettis glitter that's not actually available yet. So to recreate this look, the shot, I'll just show you a picture. Printed out, there'll be a picture on the blog as well, but those lips were just so... They were glistening and they were catching the light as they were shimming down the runway. It was all I could look at, honestly, it's the beauty geek in me. Um, but for this, for the point of this exercise, I'll be using the Ruby Red MAC pigment over my lips. And I'll also just be defining with an Elizabeth Arden Plum Rose lip pencil just to sort of do it properly. So I'll jump straight in. My lips are clean. I've got a, a bit of a remnant of a, of a pink gloss from this morning, but I mean, they're, they're dry and they're fine. So I'll just line. Now forgive me if this isn't perfect. I'll just fill it in really quick. Just so if I have a coffee or something later, not all the colors take it off. Okay, so next I'm gonna take out the uh, Divine Goddess lipstick. It's a really beautiful hue. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so I'm just gonna put that Lipstick everywhere. I'm gonna put that over. Really nicely, like that. Now, I know with normal lipstick, I always just brush down my cupid's bow, just so to leave that, um, you know, look, you leave with a bit of shape. I would also um, sometimes, if I've got like a tushy clat or an illuminator, illuminator around, I just sort of brush that onto there to make that cupid's bow look a bit more pronounced and a bit more central. Um, now normally you'd maybe blot that colour because it is a bit full on and a bit on there but we really need that to keep that sort of um, moisture there to take hold of the pigment that I'm going to be applying now. And you can see how that shows up on your finger, it's like a really ruby but a little bit purple. So I'm just going to dab that straight on. And you can see the immediate um, sort of three dimensional shimmer effect that, that gives. So. Sort of, I mean, as little or as much as you want, and any any color glitter it doesn't have to be like a, a one that sort of matches. You could do like a nice a gold to give it a three dimensional look, even a blue if you're feeling daring, a lighter orange. This is a little bit more plum um, than the glitter used on them. I think oh, it's just straight silver glitter and um, mixed with a little bit of ruby on the models. But this is sort of a a plummy just to lift it a little bit and give it that that kind of sheen that you don't get from just straight lipstick. So that's done. You can see how that colour is just suddenly really pronounced. Now, it's not exactly the same as my model because she is more of a silver, a silver glittery kind of gal in that picture. But um, I really like the effect that you get from the product. I mean, it's a different kind of a look, it's a different way to wear your lips, I know. Um, but I think it's something we should definitely see a little bit more of. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll speak to you soon. Bye beauty.